The focus is on how the Tom Brady-Bill Belichick relationship deteriorated. Brady says in the documentary, I wasn't going to sign another contract in New England, even if I wanted to play until I was 50. Based on how things had gone, I wasn't going to sign up for more of it. Owner Robert Kraft says in the documentary, and I quote, Tom and I had a number of discussions about how Bill treated him. Tommy is very sensitive. He was always looking for Bill's approval, almost in a father-son kind of way. And that's not Bill's style ever to give that. Keyshawn, you know Bill. Are you surprised about what Brady said about Bill? Not at all. Mm -hmm. Not one bit surprised about it. And I, prior to even working with you, when he left New England and went to Tampa Bay, I tried to tell everybody I used to work with, I said, he didn't kick him out the building. They offered him a contract, he just didn't want it. But everybody wants to frame it as, he kicked him out the building. He didn't want. That's not true. Uh, but Kraft it's said that two true. years earlier, Bill was already saying but he's they, done. Regardless he's done. to that, yeah. they offered him a contract. Brady accepted somebody else's contract and didn't want to play for Bill anymore. If you know anything about any of these guys that come from this sort of tree, yeah, you're not going. And by to... By the way, you played for one. I played for yeah. one of them, you, and I've you been played, around all of them. Wait, you played for the tree. Yeah, right? I played for the tree. Yes. Yeah. And all the limbs yeah. have been attached. The root. <laughs> you played for the root. Yeah, the root, the better yet. Yeah. All of them come off the tree, but if you, you played you, for the root. If you know anything about them, yeah. they're never going to give you sugar. That's... Ever. That's... I don't give a damn if you had 900 receiving yards and six touchdowns in one half. They not going to give you no love. I thought Parcells was capable of giving you a little subtle sugar, just subtle. Just oh, and, little, and, and, little, and, and, and little. Belichick gives you a little subtle, but it's so small yeah. that you don't feel it. <laughs> okay? His personality is different than Parcells's, but they're the same guys in different bodies on how they treat everybody. If you think about his tenure in New England, the entire 20 years, you never heard Bill praise Tom other than he's a Great quarterback, he's a work in progress. Dude, in his 18th year, you still talk about he's a work in progress. Because that's just not what he's gonna do. Yeah. It's just not. They're not gonna send you to the Hall of Fame before you get inducted until you retire yeah. and you don't play for them anymore. I don't care if it was Lawrence Taylor. I don't care if it was Curtis Martin. I don't care if it was Aaron Glenn. I don't care if it's Tom Brady, Willie McGinnis, Teddy Bruschi. They're just not going to do it. And yes, Brady wanted some sort of love because you want the approval. You want, I remember coming to Parcells and wanting an approval on something I did that was well. He told me, you still got to finish the deal. Right, right, right. Like, what the? Oh, I expect you to do that. Well, you want credit for it. Exactly. All, you all that sort of that's stuff. That's what they'll say to you. Right? It, it, you. But that's that, but their style. <laughs> so you know, and I'm sure, <laughs> I'm sure there'll be more in the doc skip that will point to why the relationship right. crumbled or what the case may be. But at some point in time, you're tired of being kicked and kicked and kicked, especially when you feel like you've done so much to earn public respect from your head coach and your general manager, and you're not getting it from him, but getting it from you and me and Michael. To get that love, I got to look at TV. Opposed to walking in the locker room and saying, man, yeah. you, 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 you had you the man. Oh, I love you. I can't ever be without you. Hey, hey, you want to hear that every now and then when I got six damn rings? So I don't, I'm not surprised at all, man. I'm not surprised. What is amazing is that last statement you made. Why do I need him to tell me those things? When the numbers are saying it so loud. Because it's just it's, special. I, I, that's what special I'm saying. Special coming it, from my guy. When you got three MVP awards, 14 Pro Bowls, 30 playoff wins, nine Super Bowl appearances, and six titles. Six titles. All of that, and I still want my coach to give me some credit Thank or you. give me some love. And, 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 and I think. That's why you play I, for me. I always say this no matter who you are, Every one of us 
in this world is looking for affirmation and confirmation. I don't care who you are, what you accomplish, whatever, you, we all are looking for affirmation and confirmation, and Tom wanted that. Now, here's what I say. Here's what I say, Tom. Tom, when Bill Parcells talked to Mr. Kraft about hiring Bill, Bill, Bill Belichick, he said, great coach, but ain't gonna be your friend. At all. At all. Don't know how to be your friend. Mm. All he knows is X's and O's. That's it. That's it. That's all he, <laughs> and that's all he wants. So, you know, this is who Bill is. This is who Bill is. You know, so I can't ask Bill to be who he is not, because then I get somebody I do not need or I cannot use. I need him to be who he is, the best that he is. That it, and, and so I'm going to talk to Tom for needing so much from Bill, for needing it, for needing it, and to the point where you, I can't continue down this path because I need something from Bill. When the method of whatever Bill has done has obviously worked to this level, to this level. If I'm putting up this kind of level, whatever you're doing, you keep doing. Mm. Don't give me no love. Mm. Let me keep fighting it. Let me keep pulling it. That's the part. That see, it also, it, that, that. it also goes to, though, where Tom wanted certain input and certain things from a personnel standpoint. Bill, now, would, that, tell, Bill would tell Tom, you just play football. Let me now, give... Now, okay. you got me out there with scrappies, okay. and I'm working my tail off right. to now, get the number six. Right, right. You know? Right. I'm working my tail off to get the... I don't want you running off Gronkowski or running off Randy and then got to go bring Randy back. I don't want that. I want to be able to keep it consistent. But when you have Bill telling him, hey, you just quarterback the team, I'll deal with the personnel. They, they, he, he don't want that at the end. He just didn't. Mm -hmm. You know, he didn't want it. And I'm not mad at him for it. Sometimes it just doesn't work out. Mm -hmm. Things, all good things come to an end, man. Yeah, but, 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 but. Mr. Kraft did not say that that was the situation. He said Tom wanted confirmation, affirmation. He didn't want input. He no, no, I'm just Bill. telling you. He yeah. wanted I'm just Bill. telling you along the way. Right. Oh, for about a three to four year period there, the communication lines were so fragile that Tom got tired of just dealing with well, everything you got to deal with well, when you well, deal well, with him. Well, and what I would imagine happened is as Bill was trying to say to Mr. Kraft that maybe time, time has come, Tom was saying, my time hasn't come. I need some better players. Maybe that's the discussion 100%. that went on. And, and he's not giving me better players. And then Tom, that's why Tom went on and... Um, Tampa and won a Super Bowl with better players. Yeah. So he was saying, I need better players. And that's usually what happened when the coach said, hey, I don't think you have it anymore. And, he, and you're saying, I, I can still play. You just need to get me the players. So I understand that situation. That's what yeah. happened. Yeah. So do you guys remember the AFC Championship game in Foxborough against what was then called Saxonville, Jacksonville? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Blake Bortles. Oh, yeah. That is correct. So on Wednesday practice day before that game. This is what they said. Tom was handing it off to Rex Burkhead and his hand got caught in the handoff and it ripped open the palm of his throwing right hand. Others speculated he did it some, some other way. I don't know. I just know. I saw a picture of it and it yeah. was ripped open and he re it required 12 stitches to close in the palm of his hand. So they designed a special sort of protective cover. And as he was in the tunnel before they were about to get introduced, he just didn't like the feel of it and just ripped it off and went with stitches against football for the game. They fell behind, I think it was 20 to 10 going to the fourth quarter. This was the, about to be the beginning of the end, I thought, between Brady and Belichick. In the fourth quarter against Saxonville, Brady threw for 124 and two touchdowns, and they roared back to win the game. When Bill was asked in the postgame, about how Brady played with the 12 stitches in his hand, he shrugged and said, it wasn't exactly open heart surgery. Well, that, that's, too, okay, that's a Parcells line, right? right, right? That, right. that could have come out right out of Bill's mouth, right? Because, but, but you know how Brady took that.